Kabaneri of the Iron Fortress is a 12-episode long anime series often compared to Attack on Titan, and I wonder why, as it only features the same production studio, producer, director, and sound director as Attack on Titan, with the only differences being the script writer who also wrote the script for Code Geass. Iron Fortress is zombie slaying madness set within a steampunk ancient Japanese environment as samurai fight against super powered zombies on a train. And as you would expect following an introduction such as this, the story is definitely an afterthought to the action. It follows Ikoma, an engineer who creates and successfully tests a weapon powerful enough to pierce the zombie's heart, which is stronger than iron, but at the cost of being infected himself. With no time to spare, Ikoma embeds several steel braces all around his body and upper neck, which stop the spread of this deadly disease, but yet somehow manage to retain blood flow to his head. But hey, I mean, if we turn our noses at any blatant disregard for logic in a zombie samurai on a train flick, then we're probably not gonna have any fun. By now, we are no stranger to human vampire half-breeds which feature superhuman strength, speed, healing, and last but not least, the hunger for human blood. But what do half-human zombies do? Because we haven't seen too many of them. Well, I'm glad you asked, because they do the same fucking things. Honestly, stories like this, they kind of just write themselves. As Ikoma and the rest of the survivors from Episode 1's zombie attack flee the scene, they go from location to location, and you guessed it, getting attacked by zombies around every corner. Ikoma isn't alone in his quest of awesomeness and badassery. He's joined by Mume, another half-breed female who probably should have been the show's sole protagonist due to the fact that... Half of the show revolves around her backstory, and Ikuma gets next to no development. However, as the story reaches the second half of the show, it begins to derail. See what I did there? You know, trains and... Never mind. Essentially, what it does is focus on characters, mainly a villain introduced as being a prominent figure from Mume's past, who has a serious case of daddy issues and wants to return the world to anarchy, and basically let everybody uh, be eaten by zombies, basically letting the strongest survive. I think it's sad to see a series which shows so much promise in the sense of having intense action go downhill so quickly. It's almost as if they lost focus of their original goal, or at least that's how I felt. The only positive I have to say about the second half of this anime is that it has an actual conclusion, which, sadly, the Attack on Titan anime has yet to achieve, even after four years of silence leaving its viewers hanging, and probably just reading the manga now, and they probably don't even care about the anime continuing at this point, and I wouldn't blame them. Like Attack on Titan, which featured jaw-dropping visuals and a beautiful score, Iron Fortress follows in suit. I should also compliment it on its use of CG, considering that I'm such a stickler for CG in anime and how much I dislike it because it takes away from the experience. They actually managed to blend it into the environment on things such as the train. It didn't look as bad as many other anime series, which looked to be like they were created by a 12-year-old year old on a Macintosh 128K. Now onto my recommendation, if you're a huge fan of zombies, personally I'm not really that big of a fan of zombies, I'm tired of them by now, but we've seen them so much and there are still people out there that like them, but if you're a big fan of zombies then you may enjoy this, however, if you're someone that's just looking for the thrill ride of the action, I would have to say you're probably going to enjoy the first half, but maybe be let down with the second half, so if you're looking for that action thrill ride, I would recommend either watching Helsing Ultimate because it does have the vampires and zombies and it's a lot of blood and action and whatnot, or Gyber Bio Boosted Armor, which also is good for the same reasons as having these creatures and a lot of action in there as well. It is a bit older, but still, it's something that. I would recommend these two shows for being enjoyable consistently for the same reasons as I enjoyed the first half of Iron Fortress. And of course, if you're an anime fan looking for a good story, obviously you came here wondering something about zombies or maybe just to hear what I have to say about this anime series, but I really can't recommend any anime series that has zombies in it for its story because, like, I don't think I've seen one that has zombies and also a good story. If you've seen one, let me know about that in the comments section below and also if you have seen Iron Fortress, let me know about that as well. If you enjoyed the review, be sure to subscribe and also tell a friend, share with a friend. Stay tuned for my future reviews of Fist of the North Star, the movie on Monday, and Sakamoto Desga on Friday, and I'll see you next time.